Donner have made a name for themselves in recent years for producing solid, reasonably priced audio production gear like audio interfaces, drum kits, guitars and keyboards. The Starry Pad is Donner's take on a MIDI drum pad beat making thing that comes in quite a bit cheaper than other controllers in its class. In this video I'll take a closer look and see if it's worth your time. The Donner Starry Pad is a 16 pad MIDI controller that goes for around £70 slash $90 and has a 4 star rating with over 800 reviews on Amazon. It's light, slimline and doesn't take up a whole lot of space overall, making it ideal for smaller home recording setups or ideal for use with an iPad when you're on the go. Let's take a closer look. In the Starry Pad box you'll find a hefty user guide, the Starry Pad itself, a USB to USB-C cable, a 3.5mm to 5 pin MIDI cable and an extremely useful USB to USB-C adapter in the box. Brilliant. On the top of the Starry Pad are the 16 velocity sensitive pads that you'll be pounding away on. They feel great, nice and thick with not a lot of give to them. To the left of those are two assignable knobs. Despite being plastic, these feel good. They're sturdy, clicky and don't have a whole lot of wobble to them. Below those are two faders that feel quite nice. Travel is good, but they're maybe a touch too wobbly for my liking. Next to those are a B buttons and a full level button, which will turn the velocity sensitivity of your 16 pads off or on. Below that are knob, fader and pad bank buttons. The most useful of these probably being the pad bank button, as you can use this to switch between three different pad banks, giving you a total of 48 different sounds and samples that you can trigger from the starry pads pads. Below that are six assignable transport and control buttons. Now all of these buttons feel identical to the pads. They're thick, chunky and solid. On the back side of the starry pad you'll find a Kensington lock, the USB-C output and the 3.5mm MIDI out. The starry pad is made entirely of plastic which, well, isn't surprising at this price point shouldn't be taken as a negative necessarily as it keeps the unit nice and light. Maybe don't go dropping it from a great height though. One big negative that may only be an isolated incident though is the cable quality. I thought I'd been sent a faulty unit as the USB-C to USB cable supplied would power on the starry pad when connected to Mac or my iPad, but once the power up sequence had finished, it would go dead. I fumbled around thinking it was maybe a software issue or something, but it wasn't until I tried swapping out the supplied cable with a higher quality one that things started working properly. There's a good chance that I've just been sent a unit with a duff cable as the reviews on Amazon don't indicate that this is a common problem, but it's worth noting all the same. You have a couple of different options open to you when it comes to hooking up the starry pad to your Mac or iOS device. There is the included MIDI out cable or via the USB-C output. For the duration of this video I'm going to hook up using the USB-C cable as I think that's the method that most people watching this will probably use. Mac first then, and as with pretty much every other MIDI controller under the sun, you can simply open GarageBand attach the starry pad to your Mac and it will be automatically detected. From here you can open a new software instrument track, select an instrument, a drum kit is probably a safe bet and start tapping away.
Now, GarageBand doesn't have built-in MIDI Learn or really any in-software way to map the starry pads, pads and controls. Other DAWs do, of course, so if you're using Logic or maybe Ableton, the process of assigning specific sounds to specific pads, for example, will be really straightforward. Luckily, Donner has starry pads specific mapping software that you can download from their website. While a bit fiddly for beginners, maybe, the starry pad software allows users to manually map specific notes to specific pads. If you'd rather just keep things simple, you can use the starry pads shift key to move pad banks up or down octaves inside GarageBand and adapt to the instrument sounds assigned to each note or pad yourself. On iOS, it's very much the same story, though you can't use the Starry Pad editor software as there isn't an iOS version of it. This means in GarageBand, you'll be using the pads to trigger drum kits, for example, as they appear on screen. Pad 1 will correspond to the kick drum in the bottom left of this kit, for example. The extra row on the starry pad does allow you to access more drum sounds in real time when compared to the virtual pads available in GarageBand itself, so there is that. Also, the velocity sensitive pads do make a difference to performances and recordings here when compared to GarageBand's built-in, on-screen, non-velocity-sensitive touchpads. Other iOS DAWs do feature MIDI Learn, of course. You'll be able to assign pads to sounds in apps like Beatmaker 3 and Koala Sampler, amongst others. I think this would fit in really well as part of an iOS-focused live setup, honestly. It's lightweight, portable, and provided you're using the right app or program that can make use of them, packed full of features. For beginners, this seems like a great way to get started with the whole MIDI drum pad thing. Setup is pretty straightforward, and depending on what DAW and platform you're using, tweaking things to get them the way you like it isn't too taxing. I do question the build quality of the provided cables, I did have that issue when setting it up, remember. But as long as you're maybe willing to grab something more dependable from a third party, the starry pad seems like really good value. In fact, Donner gave me a discount code to pass along to you that up until the 30th of April 2023 will save you 5% on the starry pad on Amazon. Let me know your thoughts on the Donner Starry Pad down below, and if you could give that like button a stern talking to on the way past, I'd really appreciate it. Want to drool over even more audio production gear? Watch this next. <laughs>